Heard it's another man down in my city, Brody Chopper got a red dot in some cities. I ain't with the drama. I'm just trying to touch a milli. I'm an addy dropper. Cause on my mama, we get busy. Man down in my city, Brody Chopper got a red dot in some cities. I ain't with the drama. I'm just trying to touch a milli. I'm an addy dropper. Cause on my mama, we get busy. Plug pull up with the pack and I ain't even bust it down. Couple minutes on my phone, I promise I'm gonna get it gone. I stay solid, I get caught, I'm fighting till they sit me down. You get caught, you singing like a nigga. In the studio, studio. bro, we sold the whip for a thousand cause we just slid in it. I really make a house call, fuck, fuck if your kids in it. Been through some shit, that's why my heart too froze. You ain't living what you rapping in the studio. You get your noodle blown, fucking with the opposition. My brother making decisions on anybody that's listening with the quickness. I'ma make a decision, I'm on a mission. You tripping, thinking we missing. I'm shooting up with precision. Red beam on the barrel to give myself some assistance. My brother come through like sniper, he knock you off from a distance. Big foe with no foe, I'm balling just like a piston. We get the damn heard it's another man down in day we're at the premiere uh, at MJR uh, Southgate for the is it real um, um, premiere uh, th thanks to uh, Bill Swift and his wife for inviting me to be able to interview all the actors here on the red carpet uh, excited to be here um, we got our first interviewee here our first guest we have Dorothy here how you doing Hi. welcome Hi. here Good. And welcome to the El Nino podcast. Thank you. Thank you, you look so much. amazing. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. So tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about the role that you play in this movie. Well, um, I am an actress, a Michigan actress. I've been acting for probably seven years now. Okay. Been doing commercials and, and uh, different acting gigs around Oh, town. for real? That's yeah, great. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, so what got you into that? You know, uh, my marriage. <laughs> okay. He went to the airport and started taking flying lessons, and I thought, I need to do something. Something okay. that I've always wanted to do. So I, I, I took acting lessons here in Michigan. That is yeah. wonderful. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that's a good <laughs> hobby to pick up, and uh, that's some good yeah. purpose and there. And I met some great people, really good people. So down to earth and fun to be around. And I've, I've <clears throat> you know, it just blossomed into something I never knew it would. That really, is so really wonderful. Did, so. I mean, you know, you're just you're on an, a journey, you know, Absolutely. sometimes, you know, we close one chapter of our lives and we open up another one. That's true. And then I, I just imagine, you know, playing different roles and characters. And sometimes you have to go back to your past, you know, to find, you, you know, the, 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 the motivation, the Absolutely. emotion and all that type of stuff. Absolutely. And those roles take you through like a time warp in your life <laughs> where you draw on that time to get through. Definitely. To, you know, and to try to, um, with the emotions, you know, it's very helpful. But Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So what's the role that you play in this movie? I play uh, the mother of Jack, the main character, his okay. mom in his childhood, and my my I'm the mom or Jen in the film. So, okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. So how hard or easy was that for you? It was a little challenging because it was probably one of the first times I had a, more of a major role in a film. So it was a nail biter. <laughs> it really, you know, look at my nails. <laughs> it was kind of a nail biter. I'm still kind of thrilled over the fact that I was able to do that and was called upon to do that. Wow, that's yeah, great. I, you know, I, I, I would like to think in my own mind that I would be a great actor, but I have terrible memory. So for me to have to remember scripts and all that, like, do you get it the first time or do you have to keep on going over and no, over? How does that go? Yeah, no, this is, in fact, this one, there were some really long monologue scenes that I had and I was calling upon Jesus for a lot of it because, <laughs> and they were feeding me lines because I was just having, you know, like blank moments, you know, so. Yeah. We got through it, but a lot of it was just um, feeling like who you are in the role, and that kept me going, and it kept wow. me owning it eventually. So, and in order to be scenes, successful, you have to own it. You do. Yep. You do. You have to become you do that have person. Have to be that person. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So, so, tell me something. In the future, what role would you like to play? What is something that you're interested in playing, or that? Um, you know, I have played some pretty good characters. I've been called out to play. I've, I've played a president of the United States. What? Um, okay. I've then. had a lot of roles that are like um, child protective service agencies, detectives, police officer roles, um, things like that. And I find that to be really challenging. I never in my life thought anybody would want me to be a cop. And I was a Detroit sergeant in one film. And I just really think that each time it's, it's a challenge regardless. And the fact that 
I was handpicked by the by Bill Swift to be <laughs> this in this role was really kind of humbling. It, I've never had that happen before. That where is great. He created this. He he saw me and wanted me for the role. So it was it was really <clears throat> I'm very flattered actually i think so. that you have to be uh very talented to be that diverse in playing different roles I mean, like that i'm like you want me <laughs> this is like whoa well i'm sure he <laughs> sees all the talent and potential in you as well and that you know with everyone in the cast that's such a powerhouse cast mm -hmm. i mean i just feel so honored to be here i really do me really as well, do. trust me. I, I, I'm just yeah. as excited, and uh, it's definitely a privilege meeting you. You too. Tell me one thing. What yeah. actress uh, motivated you or encouraged you, um, or inspired you? Yes, it was, oh gosh, and I can't remember her name. She was um, in terms of endearment, I believe. Uh, okay, in terms um, of endearment. Oh, man, and she, she's like the one that she needs to have a trophy of her own the way she acts because she's an iconic actress <laughs> i'll feed it to you later i'll have to tell okay. you but she's um gosh i can't it's not sigourney weaver okay but she is good too okay okay um i just can't think of it now there's so many good ones mm -hmm. julia roberts oh definitely oh julia yeah. roberts That's a classic is right wonderful there for sure yeah she's definitely laid the uh paved the way for so absolutely. many others you know she, she set the blueprint for everybody yes yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much for Thank stopping you. by. It was a pleasure Thank to you. meet you. Thank you for the, your time. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Thank yeah, you, you so You enjoy much. yourself, and uh, I'll catch I up will. with you later. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. That went kind of smooth. I just yeah, I told you. I didn't want you to put too much Thank pressure you. on yourself. So. Yep, so everybody, we're here at the Is It Real uh, premiere, a movie that is uh, directed by Bill Swift. Uh, appreciate you for the invite to be able to come here and be a part of the red carpet and uh, interview all the actors and actresses. Um, it's definitely been a privilege, man, tapping in. Shout out to my man, Dominic Ovando. Uh, he, he plugged me in, and uh, we've been building a network ever since then, man. Uh, this past Thursday, I was at the premiere in Hamtramck of, of Black Straight Blues. Shout out to Dewan Ford. Uh, before that, I was at Undy uh, the Undying Love premiere. What's up, brother? How you doing? Man, you look sharp, man. You look good. My man. Ready to hold this? Yep. Brian, we go. How you doing, brother? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Kevin Swan, nice to meet you. Yup, you as well. Thank you Thank to the El Nino podcast. Okay, okay. You look like a king, brother. Uh, I feel pretty good. Uh, Bill and I were talking about this premiere for a long time. You know, from the conversation we first had at the restaurant till now, uh, it's just amazing to see his dreams come to true. And like I told him, it's it's nice to see his dreams come true because they allow us to live our dreams in their dream. You know? Absolutely. So. And and it's just, uh, I believe he said that he's been working on this movie since, I believe, 2015 or 16. And, um, you know, it does it does take a lot of uh, time, effort, uh, imagination um, and creativity to be able to put something like this together. And I, I can't imagine you know, how, how great he's got to feel about himself uh, watching his ideas and his visions manifest into something real. And, um, you know, I'm the awesome cast that he has. Yes. And, you know, everybody has an important uh, part and role to play in this movie yes. and uh, so my question is what part do you play in it uh, I am the doctor you're the doctor so I, okay. I come in between the beginning and the end so okay um, so um, is that a role that you played before um, I have not it's a new role for me um, I played lawyers uh, bad guys I have played interrogators I played police officers I have played angels I have played demons um, I've done a lot of background work but this is the this was the first role for this, um, so I'm I'm like, I'm excited to see how it turned out. Tell me this: What was one of your easiest roles to play, and what was one of your most challenging roles to play? Uh, one of the easiest roles I would have to say would be playing a father because I am a father. Okay. One of the most challenging roles was the dirty D. Uh, Bill and I are in that together, yeah. Because he assisted me in helping to get that role, I had to become an 
and be his boss. So that's pretty difficult. Okay. So I had to come in and take authority over him. Like, you know, this guy helped you get the job. Now you gotta, <laughs> now you gotta be his boss. But he and I work well together. We got a couple other projects that we work together on, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing those come out as well. Okay. So uh, how long have you been acting for? Uh, I would say I started in elementary school doing plays. Then I got oh, into wow. modeling. Then I got into dancing. Then I got into music. I started playing professionally as a musician at 14. Then I got back into acting. And, then, you know, as a kid, I was terrible. I was bad as a kid. And my mom used to always <laughs> say, you know, you just keep acting up. Just keep acting up, boy, with your dad. Home. You just keep acting up. And then from that conversation, her, her always telling me, you know, keep acting up to, you know, me being in this field is just, is just she amazing plant, to see She that. planted that seed, huh? Planted it. And you made it manifest planted for planted sure. It. <laughs> so tell me, what's the future look like for you and what role would you like to play? Um, I would like to play a, a really, really good guy because I've played a lot of bad guys. I would like to play a really, really good guy, like a pastor or something like that. You know, because my father was a pastor. My grandfather was a pastor. Oh, wow. That so would be a So playing natural. something like that would, you know, would be challenging for me because growing up with a father as a pastor... I have some experience in that, you know okay. what I mean? So I, w I would like to do something like that, you know? Wow, that's great. That's so, great. Yeah. Um, I'm sure your family would love to see you be able to play that role. I'm sure it would be empowering for you to be able to, you know, fill them shoes and mimic, you know, that example that's been there for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So tell me, uh, tell me an actor who's inspired you. Uh, I watched Denzel. I watched um, love Denzel. Tom Hardy. I watched... Morgan Freeman, I watched Samuel L. Jackson. It's, it's, it's a lot, a lot how they deliver their lines. You know, it's mm -hmm. not so much what they said. Like I was watching Denzel the other day in Equalizer when he grabs this kid after he gets him out of the process. He's like, "You don't know what death is," and it's just the intensity of his face. You know, you don't know what death is. Just like the little things yeah. that you don't notice that really build that character. You know, so I'm trying to work on developing who I am as an actor, not getting typecast in certain roles. Mm -hmm. So just you know, kind of try to play everything. There's another movie coming out. Um, there I play a father, but I play a comedian. You know, it's kind of a comedy. Okay. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing some of these projects come out. That's really dope, man. I love it. It's been a privilege to meet you. It's nice uh, to meet you as well. Thank you for coming on the El Nino podcast. Thank you so I'll much for you having soon. me. Thank yep, you so yep, much. Have a good one. All right. Yes, yes, yes. We are at the MJR Southgate at the Is It Real uh, movie premiere. Um, meeting a lot of good people. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, breaking down barriers and building bridges, baby. That's what I'm all about. El Nino Podcast. We are everywhere with it. Believe that. Excited, man. This, you know, the crowd is coming in. Dope. Shout out to the Legal Aliens Podcast. Shout out to Gabby and Brian. What up, though? I told you, brother, it's a journey, baby. Yep. Come on in. Hey, how you doing? I am doing fine. How are you? How are you? I'm well. My name is Eladio, and welcome to the El Nino Podcast. Thank you for having me. My name is Mark Andrew Speck. People call me Q. Okay. And actually, in this movie, Bill wrote a part for me where he calls me Quinn. So we're this close to being right. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So I, I, does, this, does this movie have a little humor in it or what? Yes, it does. Because if you know anything about Bill Swift, the, the man who wrote it and produces it, Absolutely. He's, he's got a very dry sense of humor. He actually says a lot of funny things, but he never smiles. So you're always going... <laughs> uh, is that real? <laughs> <laughs> and so I think that's where the movie came from. But I've known Billy since... 2013, I believe. We, we worked together in a film school oh, for wow. almost two years. That's where I first met him. He was the head of the uh, the carpentry section where they built all the sets and did all that. Okay. And I was a Mac and Tosh technician, so I came in and helped with all the editing systems. And So, so there's so many components that yes. come with making a movie that uh, people don't even think. No you know? idea. But I had no idea of his acting talent or his his drive to do this kind of thing because that's mm -hmm. not what he did back then so i'm i'm thrilled for him and you know that's that's the that's the good thing about being in this type of business is that you can be creative um you can explore you may start out acting next thing you're doing you're directing yes. you're writing you know stuff like got that. your own podcast you know Ab it's absolutely just like, there's all sorts of stuff and i'm really so grateful for the opportunity and the invite to be able to be here because everyone that i met has just been you know wonderful and it's ah. just uh great to meet creative people and just listening to their journeys and their stories. Do they pay you about. to say that? Do I owe you some money? Nope, oh, not okay. at all. 
everything is very genuine and very 100 percent well we're looking forward to seeing this I, uh, bill told me started it in 2015 so when you look at that that's what eight years yeah people think a movie gets made in a year or two years well it's when it's a dream it takes a while for a dream to come true so i'm i, I couldn't have been more proud of him i love the guy here. listen when i talked to him and he was uh you know uh, uh demonstrating and uh not demonstrating but explaining how right. the journey to what this movie uh, was and what it required you know so much time money uh energy uh creativity emotion like real life experiences like that's what you really want in a movie. You want to feel uh, the genuinity of the movie, of the characters, and the experience yeah. itself. And it's, and it's local. I mean, it was all done here. Uh, you know, I without any it. of the film incentives that we lost back whenever they were around. So he did it all on his own and just kept that dream alive. So that's that's incredible. And, and I love just to see, you know... Um, People from the Down River community, yep. from um, you know Southwest Detroit, and you know all of Detroit. Everybody's like breaking down barriers, building bridges, coming together, bringing all their resources, all their creativity, and and making masterpieces like this. I, I think it's wonderful. It's great. I was absent for 17 years, away from society for a little while. So coming home, you know, and to be able to see all this manifesting right here in my own hometown, my own city, because you know before it was like we were waiting for somebody some big record label or some uh, huge director yeah. from california new york or atlanta somebody to notice us or sign us up or oh, give gosh. us a break and you know what we created our own lane and we're taking off and it's a, and you know what what i like about this is the spiritual idea uh just come on by it's all good it's all good it's it's all right <laughs> that was our adoring fans <laughs> That shows you it's live. <laughs> this is not pre-recorded because uh, we would have cut that out. Uh, but what's nice is the spiritual aspect of what of the theme of the show, which I really like. And, and no, I mean I'm a uh, I'm a Detroit Music Award-winning gospel artist. Oh, wow, and Billy wrote great. a part for me in this movie, being the organist for the church. So it's kind of typecast, but okay, it worked out really yeah. well. So that kind of came natural yes, for you. And once I heard what he was doing and and the the idea behind this show i said i'm i'm all in man i would love to be helping you any way i can so it, it's he says i got some FaceTime, so i'll be very curious to see what i look like on a big screen <laughs> that's great so tell me who are who's an actor and actress that inspires you or that motivates you to do what you do you know what i've been in a few films myself okay. uh, i've worked with wesley snipe and i've worked with hillary swank and wow, i actually great. was a i was a gangster in a movie called kill the irishman where i where i got money from christopher walken to wow. kill the main character oh wow that is that'd be i tell you experience. i was i was in awe of these people so i tell you any any actor that you can be by and watch them do their craft is inspiring because everybody does something a little bit different and you can learn from any i'm learning from you right now i, I, I was just about to I, say the same I, thing i love it hey you, great let uh, me thank you like thank I you to say. I'm, i feel the same way about i've never you. done a podcast and i just kind of listen to you and you just got you just smooth yup hey just down to earth just keeping it real you know that's the name of the show is real everyday people oh it, and, really yeah and i started it out because i just i really wanted to document stories of people from our community, you know, because in this world you have so many people with stereotypes, biasness, prejudice, racist, and all this different stuff. And it's like you never really know what a person, who a person truly is until you hear their story and where they've been from and or where they're from sure. and what they've been through. Life you know? is too short for those kind of games, man. I, Absolutely. I, it takes you, sometimes it takes you a long time to realize that, but eventually you have to realize what's real and what's not and, and just stop spending time on things that, are not necessary or actually have no point whatsoever but it's that's a hard lesson you don't learn that right away no absolutely i mean you know i guess it, just in life in general everything's about trial and error you know um so tell me uh what is a role that you would love to play wow that's a good one you know what i would like to do something patriotic i think it would wow. be good to be okay. able I, I'm in a band called Sweet Crystal. We've been together for almost five decades. And okay. that's, that's my, and what we do is for the men and women of the armed forces, we do a lot of work with Wounded Warrior Project and, and veterans organizations. And I would like to be in a show that portrays the sacrifice of the families when they send their loved ones off to oh, stand in yes, the gap for the rest yes. of us. Because the sacrifice of the families is sometimes every bit as great mm -hmm. as those standing mm -hmm. in the gap for us. So I think those stories 
could be portrayed. You know, you just put uh, goosebumps on me, really. You really did, just because, you know, I think of, you know, like I said, I went away for 17 years. Okay. And, you know, a lot of times we don't think about the impact that it makes on our families, no. on our communities. Mm -hmm. So whether you're going to serve for our country or you go away, like it impacts your family, you know. And, um, and I think that Type, things like that need to be highlighted, you know, so people can fully understand, you know, sometimes the sacrifices that we make, you know. Absolutely. Well, dude, I love you. Yeah. I thank really you, thank, thank you. For you. Coming. I, I appreciate you. God and, bless uh, you, man. I, I hope you're going to stick around and watch the flick. Oh, definitely. Excellent. Yeah, take uh, the card. I will. I will get back in touch with you. Thank yep. you, man. Yeah, Have a great one. night. I'll see you in a bit. You. Yep. How you doing, brother? You look sharp. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. Always got to salute a gentleman. Hey, gentleman and scholar, man. You got to do it right. What's up? How you doing, bro? I'm good. How about yourself? My man. I'm good. All right. My name's Eladio Nino. Welcome to the El Nino podcast. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, uh, what's your name? Terrence France Jr. Okay. All right. So did you play in this movie? I was in this movie. Okay. Yes, so sir. what's the name of the character you played and how and what was it like? How was it? I play a character named Luke. Uh Luke is kind of uh he's he's an enforcer. Okay. And he's stern. But he's kind of goofy too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's a he he he's a I guess a goofy enforcer. Uh, he makes a lot of things happen as far as the criminal side of things. Okay. Sounds like you could take care of business and make you laugh at the same time. That's huh? what it's going to be, That's great. Man. Ain't nothing like yes, you got to take care of business yes, and sir. got a good humor, too. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. That's my that's my job. That's so, my role. So how hard or easy was it for you to be able to play that role? Uh, you know, the, the, the criminal side was, was a... Uh, it, it it was uh I, I would say it's kind of a challenge okay because you know that's not me per se the goofy side i mean everybody anybody that knows me knows i'm a complete goofball you know I, <laughs> that's I just, great i just look like this i look menacing but yeah <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely your size can be definitely there you go man you know six presence hey, six sure. Six four three hundred something, hey man yeah hey, it, let me, it worked out let me cross for the you. street on this guy <laughs> <You know? laughs> no but yeah, no, but uh, but but the 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 silly side that that me and uh, and uh, Devin Banks uh, uh, had in the uh, in the scenes that we had, you know that, that that's more that's more Terrence than it is Luke. Okay. You know what I mean? So it sounds like this movie will take you like on an emotional roller coaster. So, you oh, know, yeah. one minute you're sad, yes, one sir. minute you're happy and yes, you're sir. laughing yes, and, you sir. know, things like that. And I love movies like that because it just makes it real, makes it authentic. Right, You right. know, and I love the diversity. You know, right, uh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, see, now, the thing about this movie is it's so complex. It's okay. very, It's very complex. So and you got to give it your undivided attention. Yeah, you got to pay attention. Hey. Put your popcorn down <laughs> yeah. for a couple minutes. Pay attention, Definitely, you know, because yeah. something gonna happen that you gonna miss, and then it's gonna pop up later, and you don't know what you missed. Yeah, yeah. So that's it's one of those type of movies, and uh, you know, just being a part of it, and uh, Bill's vision, and uh, and, and the, the way Bill and Carrie put it together is, is I'm just honored to be a part of it. How long have you been acting for? I've been acting. I started acting. I did a stage play in 2017. Okay. All right. That was the first thing I ever did. It's, it's a, it was a stage play uh, called Finding Miss Wright. Okay. And uh, and I, I recently, I, I had a premiere a couple weeks ago for uh, Queen of Diamonds. Okay. All right. And uh, yeah, so I, I, I- Are all these movies found on Tubi? Queen of Diamonds is not out yet. Okay, all right. But I, I, I something to look forward I, to. Yeah, I have a small role in in uh, the the second season of Dirty D that's coming out. Yeah, yeah, looking forward. Bill to has it. a way. He he's got a major role in in, in Dirty D. <laughs> but 
but he uh but but I have a I have a smaller role in Dirty D. How long have you known Bill for? God. Uh Four years, five years. Okay. All yeah, right. Bill's my guy. And you guys are already making movies. Bill and is my guy, happen. man. Bill is my dog. I yeah. love it. He yeah. always, he's got a lot of good energy. He's creative. And, yes, sir. Uh, you know, good guy, man. Yeah, and, man. And, and you know, creating opportunities for others. I love it. I Absolutely. Love it. Yeah, yeah. Bill is he's a super creative guy. You know, from from the top down, from the directing, producing, all the way down to you know set design casting everything else and acting and everything else. People do not realize the work that goes into something Man, like this. Bill is he's a uber creative person. Mm -hmm. He's I, patient, I'll tell you what, because they said he's been working on his movie since 2015, so I said this guy's got I believe to have it. some patience. I believe and it. he wanted it right. I and believe it. And the movie, uh, you know, as far as I know, has been done for a couple years, but he didn't want to put it out until it was perfect. Yeah, You know what I mean? That's so, great. That's great. Yeah, so we're going to see a, a perfected uh, uh, finished version of this film, and I'm I'm excited to see it. So tell me, what role would you like to play in the future? What role would I like to play in the future? Of of anything or anything, just something that man, you, you want to kind of you know. Come on, man! I'm man! I'm I'm the king of Wakanda, baby. Woo! Oh, I, man, that's I'm what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I, I'm the Dream black big baby. I'm, Let's I'm, I'm the chubby Black Panther, man. What yeah, you mean? hell yeah! I Come love on. it. I on. love hey, it. Hey, cool. Hey, Ryan Coogler, where you at, bro? Where you at, Ryan? <laughs> hey, yeah, you heard me. He waiting on you. Hey, you ever had? Hey, you got a a. a tight fitted suit for a fat dude <laughs> what's up hey superheroes come in all sizes hey man we? come on man so tell me one thing um what art or uh, 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 actor or actress uh inspires you uh as far as acting i have like like a a, a four piece that that really inspired me to do that i need to improve Okay. And that, and I need to 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 be better. It's uh, Denzel. Definitely. I mean, he the goat. You gotta Definitely. you gotta have Denzel in there. Sam, Samuel L. Jackson. That's the man right there. Daniel Day Lewis. Okay. And Jeffrey Wright. My man. Those are my four. My man. Those are my four go tos where I watch their performances, and they 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 I, I watch their different uh man mannerisms and their different portrayals of different characters i watch everything from the way they uh uh move around where the camera is set up yeah and where the other cast members are set up and everything else and i watch all of that man i study it that's dope that's yeah. dope that's what you're supposed to do but, in order but, to be but able the to underrated one is jeffrey wright i'm telling you jeffrey okay. wright is a killer on film. Jeffrey Wright is 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 one of the greatest actors of all time. And you know, book. those are the ones that catch you from the blind side. I'm you know what I'm blind, saying? Man, what? Come on, man. No doubt about yes, it, man. Yes, sir. Listen, man, pleasure, pleasure meeting you. Thank you for coming to the El Nino podcast. Yes, sir. And uh, I look forward to maybe working with you in the future. Hey, you got it, man. Yeah, I man. appreciate it. Yeah, you take it easy, buddy. Right, you too, yeah. man. I love hearing people's journeys, how they got to where they're at today, the creativity, the motivation, the inspiration. I love it. And I'm happy to just, you know, be in this place, be in this place with everybody. Oh, here we go. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. My name's, good. My name's Eladio Nino. Welcome to the El Nino podcast. Thank you. Good how you here. Okay, um, so I see your picture everywhere. So you got to be one of the main characters. I play the role of Jack. Yes, I'm the lead, and um, so you the man. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's, it's it's everybody. It's uh, can't do it without everybody. You know. Yeah. So. so what's your name? Jimmy Chapelli. Jimmy Chapella. Good to ja meet you, Jack. Buddy. In the movie. Okay. So. All right. So tell us a little bit about your role and how easy and hard it was to be able to play that character. Well, I play um, I play a guy who had a um, not so good a life. I mean, I had a good life monetarily, and I have a family, but I did some bad things, and okay. um, so I I die, and then um, 
I'm in purgatory, stuck in purgatory, and I got to answer for all the Holy bad stuff smokes, I did. So, are it's, you so serious? it's a flashback after flashback of my life. Bro, you just put goosebumps on me just now. I'm like, oh my I goodness. Have, so I have to answer for all, you know. The tr- I'm trying to get into heaven, you know, and, and so so yeah. It's a man, that sounds so interesting. So where did you have to go mentally to be able to play that role? Um, I'm a I'm I'm pretty much a, a almost a straight method actor. Um, so I have to I I, re- I really get into character. So it, it took me a long time. Plus it was a. Man, when he when he showed me the script, he said, "Do you do you want this role?" And I, I looked at it and I almost turned it down because it was just so it was so much. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not a spring chicken, so I, I don't I, you know I don't, I don't yeah. have a memory like yeah. I used to. So I understand. So it was um, yeah, it was difficult. The um the dialogue was just incredible, but um but I I the, the character was so compelling in the story that I just I, I took the role and just, it was it was a lot of work. I bet. And there I was bet. times that being a method actor. There's times where and I, my, my wife, she she gets to the point where she's like, I don't even like you right now anymore. <laughs> so I bet. And you know what? That's the part a lot of people don't realize or think about. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to become that different person. You do. You know, and even it, and it even requires time and space in your own personal life to be able to grow into that character yeah. and get in tune, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, even physically to play yeah, these a- types of roles. Absolutely. It was, um, but it was fun. It was uh it was a lot. It was. I think I put in 12, 20 full days of filming. Wow. So, okay. So it was, yeah, you it was put taxing. In work, so, but it was. But it was fun. It's. Um, you know, it was. Uh, it was my favorite thing that I've done so far, and I've 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 done over probably a hundred and ten. Wow. Different different that, things. Now, that so. is great, man. You got a whole. You got a great resume. I'll Thank tell you. you that. Thank you. I can I feel like I'm gonna see you in Hollywood. Well, you I a just, star. Well, I just signed for um, a Netflix original as as what? a as a supporting oh, lead. Man. So, man, congratulations! And I, and I can't say anything about that yet. Yep. I just I just signed hey, this stuff like, like a week that ago. So, plenty, man. So, yeah, congratulations! Thank you. So, let me ask you this: If there's any kind of role that you could play, what role would you like to play? Um, you ever seen The Revenant? I have not. It's um, with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. It's kind of like a survival. Um, of the fittest, you know, he has to. He gets stuck. You know, it's a it's a true testament to how, you know w- wanting to live. So it's uh, something mm-hmm. like that, maybe. So Man, this is great. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see this movie. Uh, tell me, uh, tell me, an actor or actress that really like inspires you. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. He's a beast. He's awesome. He's he, definitely um, he a beast. All, he does most of his own stuff. He's from what I hear, he's just a real genuine, nice, humble person. Mm-hmm. So he, um, yeah, that's so great when you can meet people who are genuinely like yeah. that, you know, yep. because um, everybody's not like that, you know. And people are better in the characters than they play than they are in real life sometimes. They are. You're at, oh, man, right, right on the nose there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, thank you. It was a thank privilege uh, meeting you. Welcome to the El Nino podcast. Thank you. And uh, I'll, I'll, maybe we'll build a bridge, man, and work together in the near future. That would be fantastic. Thank you. Have a good one. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? I am good. How are you? I'm good. My name is Eladio Nino, and welcome to the El Nino podcast. Thank you so much. Yep. So, what's your name? I am Allison L. Smith. Okay. So, did you play in this movie? I did. I play Sam Sims. Actually, I saw you were just talking to Jimmy, so mm-hmm. I play Jimmy's wife in the movie. Oh, okay. That's mm-hmm. great. So, how easy or hard was that? Because he told me about the character he had to play. Well, working with Jimmy was actually a lot of fun. He's a fantastic actor. And, uh, you know, as an actor, for me, the greatest thing for me is when you have, like, strong scenes with somebody Mm -hmm. and you can just feel that, oh, like, you get done and you're like, yeah, this is going to be good, you know? Absolutely. So that's what I really enjoy. Um, But, yeah, to play his wife, she was complicated in in her own right um, because, you know, he's the main character of the film. Um, I get to to support his story through what goes on with our relationship as husband and wife. Um, okay. so, so I. So how hard or easy was it to be able to match that energy and that talent? Uh, I would. I don't think it was hard. I think when you're working with somebody who's who's truly talented and and gives, you know, it's a give and receive. So, mm-hmm. in my mind, if if it's really working, it's easy. You know, okay. it's yeah. So how much of that role were you able to connect to on a personal level? 
Well, it's quite an intense film, so mm-hmm. um, I've never experienced the actual situation in real life. Okay. Um, but I am married, so I do know what it's like to have um, squabbles with your significant <laughs> other and oh, yeah. um, have some high process. stakes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's dope. So, um, what what um, what characters have you played before, and how long have you been acting for? Uh, well, uh, I started theater as a kid, so I've been acting okay. for quite a while. Um, but no, I so so the other films I've been um, chasing the ghost. I have been um, on films called. Um, oh my God! My, you asked me a question, <laughs> and my mind goes blank. Uh, it's I okay, just no pressure. Uh, uh, You're not the first one. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm like Ellison. It's right on the tip of your tongue. Anyways, uh, there. This is. I will say this is the first lead I've had in a feature length film. So I've got. Uh, like oh there it is uh, Run Girl Run is a short film Run, that Run. I won uh, Best Supporting Actress for but again it was a short film okay. so I'm I'm excited to have my first feature length film as a lead out there I've done other roles in feature lengths like Chasing the Ghost um, but this is the first time I've had one so of the leads in it so what's been your most challenging character that you've had to roll so far I mean probably this one because of of the high stakes of it there was a you know we've got a daughter in the film so the, I got to uh, work with Lila Teal she's she plays our daughter and she uh, is a wonderful young actress and just um, the dynamics of having to say so much without saying it you know mm-hmm. kind of playing the subtext there was a lot of that happening uh, especially with the daughter uh, so the character this so. movie sounds really intense and I'm really excited to see it um, so who are some actors or actresses that have inspired you? Oh my gosh. I mean Meryl Streep. She's like the queen of it. Mm, absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, and honestly, this is going to sound <clears throat> kind of dorky, um, but I'm, I really love sci-fi. So there's a lot of actors who work in sci-fi mm-hmm. that I love. Um, Elizabeth Henstrich, she's my age. <laughs> uh, but, you know, and I don't think a lot of, unless you're into like, Marvel and things like that you don't really know her but she is just so honest in her acting and I think that's what draws me to it is like Mm -hmm. the honesty the grounding you know um, Mm -hmm. and then I've heard she's wonderful to work with so because you got to be an amazing person off screen too I I assume everybody's not as pleasant to work with yeah you know ego can get in the way sometimes Mm -hmm. um so when you call cut, if you're not a nice person, I just don't necessarily want to work with you. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's any role that you could play, what role would you like to play? Oh, it would be something in sci-fi. I okay. don't know exactly. Uh, but yeah, like I dance as well. So I'm, okay. I, you know, I've got the physicality. So like kicking ass, taking names is something that's kind of always been something I would love to do. There it is. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. It was good to meet you. And uh, can't wait to check out the premiere and, sp- and see your role. Thank you so much. It was wonderful speaking with you. Thank you. You have a good one. Thanks. How lucky am I? How lucky am I to be able to be here and meet so many great creative people? Hey, you never know. I might get me a role. Hey, how you doing? Come on, have a seat. Yep. How you doing? Good, how's it going? That's good. Whoops. My name's Eladio Nino. Welcome to the El Nino Eladio podcast. Eladio, pleasure. Yep. Uh, what's your name? James. James, how you doing, man? Good, 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 good. Okay. So we're here at the Is It Real movie premiere. Are you an actor? What role do you play in this? I play the uh, John character in Purgatory. Okay. Uh, so when he gets goes to Purgatory after he uh, fortunately takes his life, um, I, 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 I'm trying to calm him down to try to get him to go to heaven. So. Okay, then. So you're like yeah. Jesus. You're the middleman yeah, yeah, to get yeah. to heaven. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds yeah. good to me. <laughs> John, circa John the Baptist. Okay. So, yeah. All right, my yeah. man. So, how hard or easy was it for you to be able to play that role? It was. It, it was good. It felt. It, it felt good. It, it all felt really good. Um, uh, really, just memorizing the lines was 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 the thing. And once we got that, it was just like ready to go. Go time. I you know. know because I think I'd be a great actor if I didn't have to memorize all these lines. Oh, I yeah. got terrible memory. <laughs> yeah. You know? oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So, how long it's have okay. you been acting for? Uh, since uh, I mean, I mean, off and on, t- uh, past twelve years or so. Okay. Um, thirteen, maybe thirteen years uh, since since the incentives came here in, in, in uh, to Detroit in two thousand nine. So it's that. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, so what m- motivated you 13, to want to act? What's that? 
what motivated you to want to like be an actor like, yeah so you know, some people write uh start out like as a writer or director and then right right right, right actor. so yeah. what was your journey how did so, your process go so so when the incentives came here uh to uh to michigan um, in uh, two, 2009, like you know, all, all those all big high budget movies were, were filming here. I became, okay. I was like, I, I was an extra in a lot. Of, and and uh, mm -hmm. some people told me I should I should pursue it. And like they're like you got a great voice for for like voice acting and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And okay. And so and so I, I started to get into voiceover, and uh, it's it's a it, it's a hard game to be honest. But um, but yeah, then I started you know getting auditions and like late, years later you know and finally getting some roles you know finally book, booking roles and. So uh, yeah, so that was kind of that's kind of my, my journey. That's really dope. That's really yeah. dope. Um, who are some of the actors that you look up to or that have inspired your career? Yeah, so uh, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, uh, that's the man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, for sure. Yeah, he's the man as yeah. well. Definitely. Johnny Depp. Woo! Johnny Depp. All the all the all the top dogs. Amy a Amy Adams. Okay. She's, yep. she's, yeah. She's 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 per she's finesse. She's great. She's a great actor, and she's beautiful. Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, Teresa Palmer. Yeah, so I, many, huh? Yeah, so go much. on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really yeah. dope. <laughs> so, if you could play any role, what role would you like to play? Uh, actually, actually, a coach. Really, be like doing a coach. What kind of coach? Like a football coach or a basketball coach? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any real life experience with I, that, or is that I, something I that actually, you just want to explore? I with? don't. I just I, I've always played like whenever I've always played leagues like like um, outside of high school. I've always had that mentality just to kind of tell people what to do, kind of okay. like, just to kind of like steer them in, in the right direction. Yeah. And so I've always had a passion for coaching. That's really so, good, yeah. man. Maybe uh, maybe your next role in one of these movies can coincide with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Listen, yeah. man, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate yeah. you. Looking forward to seeing you in a movie. Appreciate it. And uh, you have a good one. You too. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. We are at the premiere at the MJR out here in Southgate, the Is It Real uh, premiere. Uh, love it. Lots of people here, lots of good people, a lot of actors, actresses. Um, we've got uh, writers, directors, co-directors. Uh, this, this is a vibe. It's a whole vibe in itself. I told you guys, tap in or tap out. 2023 was going to belong to me, the El Nino podcast. I ain't playing no games. I'm breaking down all the barriers and building all the bridges. I'm going to get what I got coming, baby. I did 17, but it wasn't all for nothing, I'll tell you that. I'm happy and I'm grateful to be where I'm at today. And much love to everybody who's been showing me love and support. I need to get my subscribers up, man. So please, please subscribe. Hey, hello, hello. hello How you doing? How you doing? I'm Jake. Jake. My name's Eladio. Eladio, nice to meet you, man. Jake was sticky in okay. our film. I, I, He's one of the bodyguards in in the film. So, okay. speak. I, I'm glad you got in front of the camera. I, I want to see everybody see how fabulous you look. I'm glad she put that out there for me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, what's your name? Uh, I'm Jake. Uh, Jake. Sticky in the movie. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> I don't. I don't have much, but um, I I I do anything for Bill. Um, Swift is my good buddy, um, service member, brother. Um, I that's think great. that's awesome. That's that's a bond. Uh, that's that's a bond that's unbreakable. So for him to ask me to be a part of it, I think uh, it was super cool. So what was it? What was required of you to be able to play that role? Yeah, it's just. Uh, <laughs> and why the name Sticky? I, 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 it makes me think of weed. Sticky weed. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> No, no, um, I, I, I just, I, I don't know, it, Bill, Bill had something in his mind, and it was, uh, I don't it, he wrote it out in, in paper, and then he was able to perform everything he wanted on film, so we're excited to see it. That's great. How long have you been acting for? First time. First time. Yeah. Wow, man, congratulations. <laughs> First time. That is dope, man. Yeah, I mean, so. this has got to be the beginning of many. I, I hope so. I don't know. I, we'll see what the future holds. Yeah, that's great, man. Uh, so tell me, uh, what actors inspire you or motivate you? Uh, <laughs> Bill. Bill, okay. Uh, I'll great go with answer, Bill. great I'll go with answer. Bill. I'll go with Bill, Bill Swift, good guy, man, solid Great dude. man. Got great much man. respect for him. Absolutely. Let me tell you this. If there was any role that you could play, what would you want to play? I, 
I'd probably, um, I'd probably do best, uh, <laughs> probably playing a service member. <laughs> Yeah, it would come very natural for you. It would be natural. Um, uh, but I, I don't know. We'll see what the future holds. Definitely, man. You keep it moving. It was so, definitely no, uh, a privilege I to meet it. you. Thank you and, very much. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm applauding you, man, and I wish you well on appreciate your journey. Appreciate you. Thank you very yeah. much. Take it easy. Have a good one. Yeah, I recorded it live. <laughs> Would you guys like to have a seat? Dominic, what's up, Dom? Nephew, what's up with you? Come on in. Come on with it. My brother, what's going on? What's going on? Have a seat, man. Have a seat. Big right. shout out, man. Big flex to my man, Dom Ovando. What's my man, don't plug me in, boy. This yeah. is shit. This is my third premiere in what? In yeah, the you've past, been, you've been you've been knocking them out, man. Killing just, it, man. Thanks to shit. you, brother. Man. We broke down that barrier, built that bridge, man, and uh, we've been building, man. Yeah, that's what we do. We hustle, man. Man, we get, I done met so many it. good people, man. We just gotta you. get put in front of the right people. We just gotta get in different spaces to network, and whatever way we could do that for each other, you already know that's what we should all be doing. Ain't no doubt, you know? man. I love it, bro. And even even those who didn't play in the movie, they come here. Here, they're supporting they're showing love like yeah, that's yeah. great bro definitely man it's it's a beautiful thing you know yeah. it's another opportunity man we're for recording people live she said nah, yeah. she <laughs> <fuck> you. <laughs> hey, hey so tell me what man what projects you working on right now man because I, I tell you what every time i turn to be on you on that thing you doing oh, all kinds man, of characters shit. this that i've been i've been popping up here and there some stuff that i was working on uh black straight blues uh, with Dewan Ford, that he had just premiered that. I the just other did day. that premiere in Hamtramck. Yeah, bro. I'm mad as hell. I couldn't, I couldn't make that. But you know, family come first. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, absolutely, no but, doubt uh, about I'm, it. Man. I, I'm sure it was great. I can't wait to see that. Um, but right now we got uh, Master Dragon that we in pre-production for yes, right now. Yes, yes, uh, yes. I can't that's wait. That's been. Uh, they ain't even looking. Listen, that don't happen about five times. Good. It's all good. It's all love. That's how you know it's authentic. Right. Baby. Hell it's yeah. You the already field, know the, the energy there. Yeah. No but uh, Master it. Dragon, that, uh, that's been our baby we've been working on, man. We got, And then we're working on, of course, like while we're doing this, we got other uh, films that we're putting together. We ain't, we don't ever stop, you feel me? Even though we just working on one, and we still working on multiples at the same time. Well, listen, man, let me know if you, yet, need, if you need a fat-ass ninja in that movie. You hey, know? man, I got the <laughs> outfit to, in, in the mask for you already. You don't even know. You, you already a part of that. Hey, no I got doubt you. about it, man. My guy, man, you stay busy, man. I love yeah, it. You too, I love bro. the creativity. Uh, it was great giving uh, you and Diesel a tour the other day of the DHDC. Yeah, man. And uh, I, I'd seen him the other day at the uh, at the black straight blues premiere and i let them know that uh i got the approval for that uh for that office oh beautiful yeah office yeah space. yeah we're gonna so, be running uh, some uh acting class well diesel's gonna be running some acting classes and uh that's gonna be dope that we can utilize that just like we're gonna actually be utilizing the space for uh the movie we got coming up you know it's it's a beautiful thing so we could get the word out even even more and people can see what we what we doing you know firsthand so and i love it's a it bro, because everything is homegrown bro everything like is i homegrown. tell people all the time like growing up i always felt like we had to be discovered by somebody from somewhere else and you know Man. i come home you know after 17 years and it's like and we everybody, us. yeah created our own they want to see what we doing because we doing some yeah, things no, and you just had a trip to new york what was that about Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was that was beautiful, man. Uh, I, I've been to New York one time briefly, and uh, it was never on no business like like this. Um, it was a, the the Queens Underground Film Festival. Okay. Um, and uh, shout out to them for for ho having us out there. And I I last minute spoke on a panel in front of everybody there and okay. asked me, you know, because I'm a new uh, filmmaker. I've been acting for a minute, but you know, I took I take a little bit of a break so that way I could set a foundation for what I'm really trying to do, you know? And um, 
the connections, networking, meeting different people of different parts of the world. I met people from London, from Italy, from Texas, from everywhere, you dope. know, and that it's is like dope. I love it. Now, like now it's another person when we out, you know, I could call up and we could call make some make yes, some things. I happen, love it. You know? Networking, so it was, it was like they blessing. say, your net worth is determined by your network, baby. And that's we are out here building. We ain't we playing no building. games. That's that's the best thing. I love that word every time you say it, building, because that's what we're doing. You know, every everything that we do. <laughs> We're going to put up a sign. Yeah. Hey. hey, it is what it is. It man. is what it is, dog. Yep. I love them all. Yeah, I love them no all. That means it, we man. feeling good. But uh, yeah, bro, I'm just I'm just glad to be here and be able to do this type of stuff. You know? Ain't no doubt, man. I'm, I'm definitely excited. I feel uh, privileged to be able to be here and uh, be a part of this, you know, this space and yeah. uh, meet so many uh, creative people, progressive people, man. Yeah, I love shout, it. And shout out to Bill, you know what I'm saying, for, for your movie, man. Congratulations. I can't wait to see it, man. Been What's right. up, man? Where's Sonny at? Uncle Sonny. He, Sonny he's Bill. actually, man, shout out to Sonny. I know he's shout been busy. He's working. He's been busy. He's working on uh, hey, go do it. his film right now with T. Rich. They're, okay, they're, they're met T. Rich Thursday. Got, yeah, got an man, interview with him. Good guy. Man, that's a solid, great, great person, man. T. Rich, that's my dog, man. Yep. He, uh, him and my uncle are doing some great things and shooting a film. And uh, they're in Flint right now. That's why they couldn't make it. I yep. just got off the phone with him. He told me to tell everybody, give his love and everything, you know. But uh, Nephew, come here, man. We got to see the pressure apparel, man. Yeah. We pushing this pressure apparel. Promo. Get him on promo, the camera. Promo. Yeah, yeah, big flex. And, and for those that don't know, he said, "Come on in the screen on, so we can see." Stand right in front of this yeah, motherfucker. Stand right in front of it. Pressure apparel, yeah. baby. Get with yeah. it. Tap in or top yeah. out. We rock it with it. Big yeah, flex. Yeah. Big flex. Ain't no doubt about it, You gonna see it, him man. in some upcoming stuff here soon. Yup. Uh, we gonna we gonna shake. shake we running up. it up in every way, baby. Yeah, every time we up, up the scope for sure. A hundred percent. We gonna keep it coming. We got. We got stuff going on in the works that I don't even think we should speak on yet because it's in the process, but it's so positive and it's so uplifting to everybody that we gonna have involved. I can't wait for this shit, man. Like, Dom, tell me one thing, man. If there's any role that you could play, what's a role that you would want to play? Probably probably a, a, a superhero. A superhero. Yeah, y'all want to fly. Man, you a real life motherfucking <laughs> superhero. You hear me? Yeah, my, my dog, you dog, too. Right? That's, why, that's why I said we real life superheroes. I love to play the shit out of role like that, man. Hell you yeah. give me that role, I'll knock it out the park. But I'll knock out, you know, whatever comes my way. But that different shit, I like doing some different shit, some sci-fi shit or some shit like that. Ain't no you doubt, know, man. That's test dope. the range. Test the range, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no doubt I about love it. To do that. What's the most challenging role that you've had to play so far? Uh... Most challenging was probably, uh, that's hard. It's probably my t first two films because Turn of the Cheek was real emotional. You know, I had to tap into that. And it was. Uh, and how easy and hard is that shit. for you, though? Because, I mean, you got to go to a place that, you know, that brings that emotion out of you. I ain't going to lie. It's, it's hard and easy at the same time because it's always hard to bring back things to make you feel that way. But I could. I could turn that shit on, you know, where we come from, we got off and on switch like a motherfucker, so we'd be able no to doubt. do that in the, in, the, in the moment of where it's necessary. So like, that was a little bit challenging just cause I had to dig to find where it, it those those moments would fit best into what my character was gonna be like. So mm -hmm. I would say that, and then Insta Famous. Insta Famous was my, um, that was my second film I did and that was a comedy. And I talk with an accent the whole time, and then like oh, I improv. I imp yeah, that, that's a movie you know that uh, a lot of people don't know about. That was like uh, it was something last minute that I jumped into, and it was like I, I improv the shit out of it. You know, we have fun on set and everything, but. I don't know if I'm a funny motherfucker like that or not. I get, you know, I chill around <laughs> in the circle. We, you know, pass it around and have some laughs and shit like say, that. You, you already that, know. You're going to be funny. We, we keep cracking jokes and everything. But uh, it was a funny ass character. If y'all go see that on Amazon Prime, man, y'all see me acting a fool. But that was challenging too because I never did no comedy and I had to be a little vulnerable. You know, I had to do different shit that I wasn't really like comfortable doing all the way. Yeah, yeah. You know, there was some shit that I had to clear with, do, with, with my director and be like, man, I ain't know this is what we was doing but i'll tell I'm you what though best. that's part of the growth process man we're filming excuse me we're, we're filming. filming yeah it's we're all filming right. live thank you <laughs> yeah so um damn what the hell would i just say 
We was talking about uh, that's the best part of the growth process. Oh, yeah, yeah. Know? That's what I was saying. That yeah. when you said that, you know, you started to be challenged, things got difficult. Yeah. That's when you really got to push did. yourself. You got to open up but your mind. But that's the best part. Open up that's your creativity. What, yeah, that's why I work the best for. I feel like we work the best, you know. That's why I love our brand pressure, bro. I, yeah. I swear to God, like, I get, I'll get the sweats. I'll get nervous, but when the time comes and it's time for action, it's like something come over me and I'm just able to perform, whether it comes out how I envision it or not. I just try to flow with it as best, you know, as we can, just to be natural and organic, just like how we and our folks are I love it, to baby. Be. Homegrown, baby. Homegrown. Homegrown. All the way through love and through. Love you, man. Love Appreciate you, too, you for stopping by, man. Always, man. And uh, I'll see you soon, man. Yes, I, lo I love what we building. Man, they don't even know. <laughs> Having a great time over here, man. Love it, love it, love it. So we are at the premiere of Is It Real? Uh, a movie shot by uh, Bill Swift. We're here at the MJR in Southgate. And uh, I'll tell you what, it is slapping. This place is packed. A lot of good people here. Uh, a lot of uh, writers, a lot of directors, actors, actresses. And uh, I love it, man. I'm, I'm so grateful and happy to just uh, be in, in, in this space and sharing this space with everybody, man. It's dope. Comes very natural for me. I love it. Definitely had to eat me a hot dog, you know, before I got going. Had me a slushy. Needed that. I ain't want to eat too much because I was like, damn, I might don't fit in this shirt by the end of the day, you know? Bill, can we get a minute with you, Bill? A hot second. A hot second. This is the man of the hour of the day right here. This is my man, Bill Smith. The sh he, uh, 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 you he, said Smith. Bill Swift. Said, oh Bill goodness. Swift. He is the sharpest guy. We're going to edit that. You hear me? <laughs> Bill Swift is the man, and he is swift indeed. Look at him. He's the man of the hour. He's the sharpest guy in this place right look, now. Look, folks, when, when, when you come out with your own joint, you better come out right. Because if you don't come out right, you might as well keep that joint put away. Absolutely. I, I, I didn't mean it that way. Would you stop already? <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. This guy here is uh, creative, very solid. Uh, he put a successful premiere together. Um, be, uh, thank you for the invite, man. I really uh, we appreciate love, we you. We love having you guys here. You guys come from hometown, so we, we, we want to support you guys and bring you guys in. So. And this is what I love is yeah. that everything you're doing is homegrown, man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank absolutely. you so much. I appreciate it. I've heard from all your cast in the movie. I can't wait to see it. I said it sounds like it's going to be a roller coaster. You know it, what I'm it's saying? De it's definitely a roller coaster. It's it sounds that, intense. That, that, it sounds like it's you're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, you're gonna you, get you, goosebumps, all oh, that good for, stuff. For sure, I told people all, all the time. We almost put it on the on the uh, invite. Bring tissue because this <laughs> this is how this film is gonna go. You're really gonna get hit with with, with a lot of emotions. Um, we're gonna bring organized crime. We're gonna bring uh, inner city crime. We're gonna bring. Um, suburban lifestyle. We're gonna bring the the, the love and faith of of of, of belief and faith. So when we bring all this stuff together in one place, it's it's an emotional roller coaster. I got goosebumps it, on me already, man. You it, hear a, me? It's a fantastic. Look, you was thing. in character just <laughs> now. Look at you. God dang. If I, I if, I, if I was in character at that moment, I'd, I'd be barking at, at my man, will you just get this damn thing done for me now? So, uh, Listen, man, uh, it's wonderful. I can't, I can't wait to view the movie. Is it real? Premiere here in Southgate at the MJR. Bill Swift, this is the man. He's got his lovely wife, Carrie, here. She looks fabulous as well. Uh, thank you for the invite, man. And, thank, uh, you, thank you guys and, for coming uh, out. El Nino podcast is, is, is always your home. Yeah. You're always we'll welcome rock. here, man. Let, let's rock together. Let's do another one, and we'll, and we'll, do the, we'll burn this down afterwards and, and can't do a post-interview. Can't wait. All right, my man. Can't wait. Thank you. I got – there's – probably 95 other people over there I haven't spoken to and, and I don't even know how that's possible because I don't think I got a tongue left but I'm going <laughs> to find me another Modelo well you so. better get you I was going to say you better wet your whistle oh, you you okay how you doing? How you doing? I'm Eladio. Good to meet you. My name is Gerald D. Nolan. Gerald D. Nolan, yes, man. Sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you for coming. Hey, no uh, problem. Give us some time. Uh, welcome to the El Nino podcast. Oh, I'm Eladio it. Nino. Appreciate it. Yep. So, Say uh, El Nino like the storm. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. Yep. So um, tell us a little bit about, um, you know, just the business itself. Well, um, 
actually, you know, I started in September. What? I, I just started in September, and since September, I've been in about 14 different movies and shows. Wow. And I got three more yet to film. That is amazing. Three more yet to film. Brother, you took off like a bullet. Hey, you weren't playing no games. I tried. I got laid off from my job, and I said, hey, let me try this and see where it goes. You know? So was it a project? Was it a hobby? I mean, was you know it what? just something? I always wanted to do it, but I didn't know how to get into the business until okay. Detroit started making movies. And I didn't know that they were making them like this. Man. I started off as an extra. I love them words when Detroit started making movies yeah, because, yeah, you know, back yeah. in the days I used to feel like we had to be discovered by right, somebody right, from right. somewhere else to see our talent and see our potential. Right. And no, no, all of our success is based on homegrown talent, yes, everybody sir. breaking down barriers, building bridges. We're working together. Yes, all sir. the resources, yes, we're bringing it to the yes, table, sir. whether you're a writer, a director, a co-director, an actor, an actress, whatever it That's may right. be, bring it to the table. We're going to move forward and we're going to make it happen for yeah, sure. Yeah, because it was music at first. Mm -hmm. And then when Motown left in 72, it kind of dwindled down. Yeah. So now it's movies because if you look at the market, especially on on Tubi, you got to you got to say belongs to Detroit. Yeah, you got to say Detroit is probably the number four market in movies. Wow. Because you got what, um, L.A., you got New York, yep. Atlanta, mm -hmm. Detroit. In Detroit, baby. So and we on the come up. We are on the rise every yes, day. Every yes. premiere I'm at, I feel like we getting closer and closer yes, to sir. something bigger and better yes, every time. Yes, sir. You never know. Right now, it's it's, it's getting momentum. Mm -hmm. It's getting more momentum. Like you got a lot of companies out of the city that's been making shows for Tubi since 2000, probably the close to 2012 2010 you okay know? all right um like i said i don't know how far it's gonna go or if movies will get like music and just be oversaturated where everybody makes a movie mm -hmm. but i'm along for the ride and hopefully i can ride to the top no doubt about it you know? so tell me what have been some of the most challenging roles that you played ah i played a judge in the dirty d okay all right judge george bell Okay. That, that was, so was you a good judge or was you laying it uh, down? Yeah, I was laying it down. Okay, you know, then. Yeah. I, I'll let you see it when it comes out season two. And you'll see. Um, okay, can't wait. I you, love you'll it. You'll see how it goes. But it, it's a lot of twist in it. So, Okay. It's pretty um, good. If there was a role that you could play, what role would you like to play? Ah, man. You know what? I don't even know. <laughs> I, I just I'm you just, just going with I'm the flow. You and for whatever control. I get, you know. Yeah, no doubt about it. When is some of the biggest lessons that you've learned since you've been doing this? Ooh, show up. Woo, Sh show up. Show up and, and be show consistent. Out, be consistent. Ain't no doubt about Always it. Always show your face. Be consistent at auditions. Be consistent on the set. Be professional. Um, sandal your business. If you really want it, go for it. Okay. It's, it's going to be yeah. hard. It's going to be some hard days where you're going to want to quit, but keep going. Struggle strengthens, baby. Yeah. Only the strong survive. we got to keep after moving while, forward. After a while, you're going to get that break. Absolutely. And and I'm glad you said that because, like, I've been running my podcast for three years. Yeah. And, you know, there's a couple times I want to fold up shop. Yep. You know, yep. everything requires yep. a lot of time, money, energy, yep. and all that good stuff. But I've stayed diligent. I've stayed committed. And uh, look where I'm at today, right. man. You right. know, and uh, right. I just I feel very blessed. I feel very good about it. And uh, get to meet good people like yourself. Oh, thank you. Thank and, uh, you. And just be in the same Appreciate space it. as creative people. Um, tell me one thing. One actor or actr actress that inspires you? Oh, man. You already know. <laughs> you already know Denzel Washington. Ain't no for doubt sure. about it. Yep. Samuel Jackson. The Morgan best. Freeman. Yep. Um, Shoot, Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx, yeah. You know? Very uh, well-rounded, talented. Shoot, I'll tell you, I named some actors that I know personally out of the city. Okay. You know Diesel? Diesel, that's yeah. the man right there. Diesel, I've had the privilege uh, of building with him yeah, on a few man. occasions. Yeah, yeah, man. I did the uh, premiere of Undying Love. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. And then I just right. did the premiere right. for uh, Black Straight Blues. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, here Ford. I, here yeah. I am for Is It Real? And yeah. big shout out to Dominic Ovando, yep. uh, Diesel, yep. uh, Dewan Ford, yep. Bill Swift. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I appreciate, you know, the opportunity of being able to be yeah. here, man. Hey, don't forget Thomas Harris. Move Can't forget films. about him, man. Much yeah. love to you. Big flex yeah. for sure. Uh, what is it? Plush Productions, Moolah Films, uh, Dennis Reed Productions. 
Uh, Look at, and, and, and the list goes Chosen on. Chosen Productions. Home Blacksmith Enterprises. Uh, Woo! It, I love it, it. It's, a, it's a lot of them here. Mm -hmm. And like I say, you here doing a podcast, you definitely want to come up because you want to come up with them. So it's like. Ain't no doubt. You know, after a while, nobody going to be able to touch you. They're not going to be able to get close to you. You know, like they say, man, you run with wolves, you learn how to howl. Yeah. You run with eagles, you're going to learn how to fly. That's right. That's My right. man. Thank you. Welcome right. to the El Nino hey, podcast. Appreciate, appreciate it. your time. Appreciate man. it. Thank you have you. a good one. You too now. Thank you, brother. What? <laughs> I came to clear the way. Came to clear the path, El Nino. Damn, heard it's another man down in my city, bro. The chopper got a red dot in some cities. I ain't with the drama. I'm just trying to touch a milli. I'm a drama. See, and tell him what role you play. Damn, you look good, girl. Come on in front of this camera. Well, at least come give me a kiss or something. Come on, girl, stop playing. I know you ain't put all that work in for nothing. Got my wife looking hot as hell. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Shit, she need to be an actress. She gonna be in the next movie. Glad you made it. Hey, how you doing? You wanna have a seat? Yep, come on in. Yeah, definitely right on time. How you doing, brother? My name's Eladio Nino, and uh, welcome to the El Nino Podcast. All right, Aaron Matthew Atkinson. Actor. Aaron Matthew, okay, my man. Good to meet you, man. You too. So uh, tell me a little bit about your role, and is it real? Um, so my role is Jay. I am one of the henchmen. And, uh, okay. Yeah, so I play one of the bad guys. Uh, I guess there's a lot of bad guys. You look film. pretty sinister, man. Uh, I'll tell you what. I can do it. <laughs> I can play the bad guy. Hey, uh, so I was going to ask you how hard or easy was it for you to play that role? Might come kind of natural for you. I mean, you. I'm a pretty easygoing guy. It just really depends on the situation. But, you okay. know, yeah. I can kind of let it out on screen and be somebody different, you know? Yeah, no doubt about it, man. You look like you'd be the executioner <laughs> on there. Yeah. So, um, so how hard or easy was it, um, you know, playing this role and then working with all the other cast members? And yeah. did you have any like personal connection to the to the uh, character that you okay. played? Okay. Yeah. So working with everybody was great. You know, Bill was really awesome to work with. He's got a really good story, and uh, he kept everybody safe uh, on set, made sure everybody was following you know safety protocols, which is you know yep. top priority there. Um, and yeah, uh, connecting with the character. Um, I'm, I'm not really a bad guy. Just I really enjoy kind of playing that you know, you know the, the the other side of the coin and just kind of really going deep and dark in there and just just kind of bringing you know bringing to the table the things that maybe you know we don't talk about you know and, and just yeah. kind of breathing life into that character and kind of connecting with his story. Wow. Um, so yeah, and it was it was just really cool to work with everybody like that. I know, like goes, ev <laughs> everybody has shared a little bit, and uh, I can't wait to see the movie, man. It really sounds amazing. Yeah, um, you know, mysterious. They, it's like a, a roller coaster. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna cry. You're gonna get chills. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's it's dope, man. I'm very excited. Um, so, uh, how long have you been acting for, and what roles have you played? Uh, I've been acting, I'd say, probably about six, seven years now. Okay, um, and I. Uh, not unbelievably, I've played a lot of bad guy characters. Okay, um, all right. So yeah, I kind of I grew the beard out and and started booking different uh, different characters, and then grew the hair out, and it just kind of the different character looks. Um, you know, they, they people reached out from, to me for specific types of characters. Okay. So I, I had one last year where I I uh, played a, a German uh, soldier, really really bad guy. Okay. Uh, I had to learn German. Uh, for real? Uh, yeah. Holy it was, smokes! Uh, it was another indie film, but very well done. Uh, uh, should I name drop that one? Or, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's called Just Hitched, and uh, it just came out on streaming. Um, so it's, it was a lot of fun because it was a challenge to learn a different language and I a different bet. accent. How long and, did that take you? Uh, I, I worked on it about three months. So okay. uh, it, it, being an indie film, there wasn't a lot of big budget there to work with the dialect coach. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I kind of worked with one a little bit on the side um, and then just worked with it myself, kind of. Watch some YouTube stuff and, and uh, different films to try to get an idea of, of how exactly this guy was going to sound. So okay. I just kind of put my own spin on, on this uh, German 
uh, soldier and just kind of ran with it. So man, that is great. So tell me any actors or actresses that you know that inspire you. Uh, I'd say uh, Hugh Jackman is an actor that inspires me. Uh, ben Affleck. Yes, yeah, um, I can see that. They're they're both. Uh, um, I, I have some personal connections with their with their uh, personal stories that I, I kind of uh, look to them as uh, maybe um, inspiration to okay. continue on doing what I'm doing. Um, so, what's the future yeah. look like in, in in your acting career? And uh, if you can play a role, what role would you like to play? Oh man, um, gosh, well. I, I've been auditioning for a lot of network TV stuff lately, some uh, uh, some big budget films. Okay. And uh, you know, I I haven't really thought about the perfect role. I mean, I'm I'm a father. My daughter's here with me tonight. Okay. Um, and uh, I, have, I have other children too, uh, but she's she was my plus one for the night. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, you know, I, I like playing the father roles, uh, but the the look that I've got right now kind of throws me in a different market. Beast. So yeah. Beast. So I've been I've been working out a lot, trying to get you know. Trying to get trimmed up again. I'm thinking about doing, uh, you know, some of the Viking stuff, uh, yes, some of the Game yes. of Thrones spinoff stuff. Good Norseman, right there. So yeah, I'm really kind of. I guess that wouldn't be a dream role, but it'd be a really exciting to kind of embody that with the look. That I I've think got you'd right play now. a good character in one of Rob Zombie's movies and stuff. <laughs> hey, that'd right be a lot now. of fun too. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. man. But listen, thank you for your time yeah. for sharing. Uh, thank you. It's a privilege meeting you, man, and uh, can't wait to watch the movie. Awesome. Yeah, Aaron Matthew yeah. Atkinson on all socials. Yup. Definitely. Is it real premiere? We are here in Southgate MGR. You heard it from the man himself. All right. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Come on in. Yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. Tell him come on in if you want to help navigate him. Okay. We get the down. Heard it's another man down in my city, Brody Chopper got a red dot in some cities. I ain't with the drama. I'm just trying to touch a milli. I'm a addy dropper. Cause on my mama, we get busy. Man down in my city, Brody Chopper got a red dot in some cities. I ain't with the drama. I'm just trying to touch a milli. I'm a addy dropper. Cause on my mama, we get busy. Plug pull up with the pack and I ain't even bust it down. Couple minutes on my phone, I promise I'm gonna get it gone. I stay solid, I get caught, I'm fighting till they sit me down. You get caught, you singing like a nigga. In the studio, bro, we sold the way for a thousand cause we just slid in it. I really make a house call. Fuck, fuck if your kids in it. Been through some shit, that's why my heart too froze. You ain't living what you rapping in a studio. You get your noodle blown, fucking with the opposition. My brother making decisions on anybody that's dissing with the quickness. I'ma make a decision. I'm on a mission. You tripping, thinking we missing. I'm shooting up with precision. Red beam on the barrel to give myself some assistance. My brother come through like sniper, he knock you off from a distance. Big foe with no foe. I'm balling just like a piston. We get the... Damn, heard it's another man down in my city, Brody Chopper got a red dot in some titties. I ain't with the drama. I'm just trying to touch a milli. I'm a addy dropper. Cause on my mama, we get busy. Man down in my city, Brody Chopper got a red dot in some titties. I ain't with the drama. I'm just trying to touch a milli. I'm a addy dropper. Cause on my mama, we get busy. Plug pull up with the pack and I ain't even bust it down. Couple minutes on my phone, I promise I'm gonna get it gone. I stay solid, I get caught, I'm fighting till they sit me down. You get caught, you sing like a nigga in the studio bro we sold the way for a thousand cause we just slid in it i really make a house call fuck, fuck if your kids in it been through some shit that's why my heart too froze you ain't living what you rapping in a studio you get your noodle blown fucking with the opposition my brother make decisions on anybody that's dissing with the quickness i'ma make a decision i'm on a mission you tripping thinking we missing i'm shooting up with precision red beam on the barrel to give myself some assistance my brother come through like sniper he knock you off from a distance big foe with no foe i'm balling just like a piston we get the... Damn, heard it's another man down in my city, Brody Chopper got a red dot in some titties. I ain't with the drama. I'm just trying to touch a milli. I'm a addy dropper. Cause on my mama, we get busy. Man down in my city, Brody Chopper got a red dot in some titties. I ain't with the drama. I'm just trying to touch a milli. I'm a addy dropper. Cause on my mama, we get busy. Plug pull up with the pack and I ain't even bust it down. Couple minutes on my phone, I promise I'm gonna get it gone. I stay solid, I get caught, I'm fighting till they sit me down. You get caught, you singing. 
looking like a nigga in a studio. Bro, he sold the whip for a thousand cause we just slid in it. I really make a house call, fuck if your kids in it. Been through some shit, that's why my heart too froze. You ain't living once you rapping in a studio. You get your noodle blown, fucking with the opposition. My brother making decisions on anybody that's dissing. With the quickness, I'ma make a decision, I'm on a mission. You tripping, thinking we missing, I'm shooting up with precision. Red beam on the barrel to give myself some assistance. My brother come through like sniper, he knock you off from a distance. Big foe with no foe, I'm balling just like a piston. We get the damn heard it's another man down in my city, Brody Chopper got a red dot in some titties. I ain't with the drama. I'm just trying to touch a milli. I'm an addy dropper. Cause on my mama, we get busy. Man down in my city, Brody Chopper got a red dot in some titties. I ain't with the drama. I'm just trying to touch a milli. I'm an addy dropper. Cause on my mama, we get busy. Plug pull up with the pack and I ain't even bust it down. Couple minutes on my phone, I promise I'm gonna get it gone. I stay solid, I get caught, I'm fighting till they sit me down. You get caught, you see. Like a nigga in, in the, the studio. studio. Bro, he sold the whip for a thousand cause we just slid in it. I really make a house call. Fuck, fuck if your kids in it. Been through some shit, that's why my heart too froze. You ain't living once you rapping in a studio. You get your noodle blown. Fucking with the opposition. My brother making decisions on anybody that's dissing. With the quickness, I'ma make a decision. I'm on a mission. You tripping, thinking we missing. I'm shooting up with precision. Red beam on the barrel to give myself some assistance. My brother come through. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Are we gonna talk to? Yeah. Can you turn it on? We're gonna do one more interview, but we close it out. All right, y'all. Gotta get. Hey, you guys are cool on the set. Look at y'all. <laughs> what are we talking about? You are we on? Are we really doing this? Oh, yes, really doing definitely. This? What's up, man? I'm Eladio Nino. Dylan. Good to meet you. This is the nice El Nino you. podcast. Right. Yep. So I see you're doing photography. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, do you act or are you just here to take pictures? I'm just here taking pictures. I man. love the necklace, man. I appreciate that. Is really that. dope, man. That's pretty powerful hey, right there. Shout out to uh, shout out to our Havasupai. Shout out to our Navajo. Okay. Shout out to Bubba G. Yeah, me Shout glitch, out to our me tribes. glitch, me glitch, a hoe and yes. all that good stuff. A hoe. A hoe, my brother. My man. My man. Yup. So uh so what's your responsibility here? What's your job here, man? I'm here with Bubba G. Bubba G. Bubba G, what up, though? Come on Come in, on man. In. Here, take my spot. Yep. <laughs> What's up, man? We, we got Bubba G in the house. What's yeah, happening, what's man? How you I'm doing, Eladio. Man? This is the El Nino podcast. Nice to meet you. So I see you guys was uh, you know, like like a an entourage of photographers coming in. You guys yeah. are taking care of business. Yeah. That's beautiful. Uh, yeah. how do you guys know Bill? Uh, Bill, I actually met Bill when I was doing shots at the premiere for the Dirty D last month. Okay, all right, that's all right. great. Yeah, that's great, man. Uh, he's doing good things. We're here for the mm -hmm. Is It Real uh, movie premiere here in Southgate at the MJR. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me, uh, like, what do you think about the whole vibe with the acting and you know directing and you know, co-writing? Okay, so with everything that's going on, I've honestly been overwhelmed. I I stepped into here not knowing what I was capable of, and then I started to do things like as they should have been done and you know what I've been overwhelmed with all the doors that have been opening all the love that that's been given to me and I'm just trying to show it back by you know supporting people even just by people that I knew you know I'm trying to show them love by showing up to their events giving them shots and then you know doing whatever I do with them put them on my insta and all that absolutely man that's a blessing to be able to uh, network and yeah. uh, build healthy relationships with people who are productive mm -hmm. and proactive and being that's successful serious. that's the big and, thing um, I mean bro in the past what uh, 30 40 days I've already this is my third premiere I love it I've been able to meet so many good people mm -hmm. and um, you know I just I, I love being able to meet everybody who plays you know a, a role in this because there's so many different components that come with this you know when people watch it on the screen it looks like easy money you know what i'm saying yeah but it's, no it's, it's all the behind the scenes all the work all the, the sweat, editing the time the man, energy the money like i've been running burst shots on every single thing i've already did an event before this uh -huh. i have oh, so wow. much work to oh, do oh you're gonna sleep good tonight man i better sleep good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> i might not i can tell I'm going to be pulling Harris tonight because I just already know how much work is going to be immersed with tomorrow just by taking the good photos out and, you know, putting the good ones in. Like, then I got to be narrowed down to, like, the, you know, the certain shots that I want to keep, like my favorites. And then Instagram's nine photo limit. Uh, yeah, that's even yeah. worse. Yeah, no, no, it's definitely. Yeah, uh, it sounds tedious because you always want to capture, you know, the right moments because, um, 
you know, that's a huge responsibility because huge. you have to catch those moments. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Oh, yeah. You and know what I've realized is, like, it's, it's, uh, it's a really big deal when you're the medium between the people who want the spotlight and the crowd itself. And, you know, our phones, you know, our phones are not upgrading the microphones on there, are they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what's more popular? <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Um, so uh, tell us a little about where they can find you, where they can reach you at, if they want to work with All you. All right. So if you want to work with me, you can reach out to me on Instagram, Bubba G Producer. And, uh, you know, that, that's one way you can reach out to me. You'll find a link tree with all my other platforms. Uh, my number's on there. You can text me up. Uh, I can give you my menu and how much I cost and how much my work is. Uh, depending on the price and what you need to get done, I can provide uh, staff that will arrive with me like today. Listen, man, one of these days I'd like to plug in with you. I, I work at a place called the Detroit Hispanic Development Corporation. Uh, we have wraparound services for the community, but we have like a huge green screen room for kids to teach videography, photography. We got a recording studio. We got 3D uh, uh, printers. I mean, we, had, uh, we have uh, uh, the Best Buy Teen Tech Center where we teach digital design, okay. uh, you know, for the youth and all that. Maybe yeah. uh, I can give you a tour one day. You can stop by and maybe utilize the space. You know, that sounds uh, really sweet, man. I could also probably give a couple lessons on audio since I specialize in that man that would be great man yeah I started as a music producer a digital music producer and uh, you know I've learned every aspect of audio and now I'm just starting to breach my way into video and here I get all this attention that is great man it was a pleasure meeting yeah, you man pleasure, thank man. you for stopping by man. yeah and we'll link up in the near future yeah good here's my card man and here's mine there it is building bridges yes Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, man. Appreciate the love and support. Again, go to YouTube, subscribe, El Nino Podcast. Uh, it, go to YouTube and find Legal Aliens Podcast. Subscribe to them, too. Uh, much love to you guys. And, uh, you know, this is just the beginning, baby. But I told you, 2023 belongs to me. Tap in or tap out. We here at the Is It Real uh, premiere in Southgate MGR. Much love to everybody. And uh, and I'll see you on Monday. MBD Slizzy will be on deck. The whole chaser bag. Uh, 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 promotions team going to be in the studio so I'll see you then much love everybody